I think ideally everybody should have at least a hundred ounces of silver to make some kind of profit or have some kind of benefit from stacking silver. So let's say you got silver and it's uh, $20 an ounce and you got $2,000 worth of silver and you decide to cash out say at $32 and that gives you $1,200. Well, what that does is that puts $100 a month in your pocket every month for a year that you didn't have before you started investing. So this can benefit you. In the meantime, this $2,000, you can invest it in uh, some liquid fund, some investment that will allow you to take the money out when you need it because of the simple fact that you don't want to take this 2000 that you originally had and invest it back into $32 an ounce. You want to invest it back here somewhere again uh, when it's 20 or under, I would think something like that. So that if, if it goes back up again, then you can repeat the process and then enjoy that same $100 a month uh, for a year that you could just spend. The hard part about silver is knowing when to cash out because sometimes, sometime in our life we'll, we'll either have to pass on the silver to our relatives, kids, or we'll, we'll have it and we'll have to cash out at some time to benefit um, our lives. So that's the hard part is knowing when to cash out, when to, when to use it to benefit something in your life where, where it's just, you know, it's just sitting and sitting and sitting. You know, it's getting dusty and stuff and life goes on. Well, you want to have some kind of money to enjoy also. So this is why I brought up the subject. Because uh, with, you know, different people, they're going to have different amounts where they're going to cash out at. But I always thought it was kind of cool that if you had $2,000 worth of silver and you could cash it out at $32 and have $1,200, then you could take that hundred dollars a month and use it for things that you need you know like this could be like a phone bill uh, electric maybe even some groceries or something so you can enjoy that money now and then be a smart investor and take that two thousand dollars put it in a liquid uh, some kind of liquid uh, investment fund where you can pull it out fast so that if these prices of silver drop down you can reinvest and then wait on it for a while but while you're waiting on it for a while, you still got that hundred bucks a month because you gained one thousand two hundred dollars. So you get what I'm saying. So that's why I brought up this chart here. I think uh, if, if I think if anybody's uh, trying to invest and trying to make a, a quick buck or something off of twenty five ounces or something like that, that's going to be kind of difficult. Uh, you're not really going to get that much money. Um, like $375 for instance that might be half your rent but you're not really gaining a whole lot by cashing out with that small amount of silver so somebody like me I know some people would would tell me to cash out later you know when I build up more silver and stuff but somebody like me I guess I wouldn't mind cashing out with a hundred ounces of silver you know if I bought at 20 and the price went to say like 35 or 32 or whatever as long as I could get a uh, hundred dollars a month that I could use on bills and different things like that I would be happy with that hundred dollars a month I could really have a good time with a hundred dollars a month there's a lot of things uh, I could stretch my money with on a hundred dollars a month so anyway tell me what you think and I just thought I'd bring up this uh, topic just to get a conversation going about it so Anyway, thanks very much for watching.